Hello everyone, welcome back to this course. In this section, we will talk about security in Zabbix. First, we will secure the Zabbix web interface using HTTPS. I mean this. This is the Zabbix web interface. You can see, uh, you can reach this web interface using HTTP, which is not secure. We will use uh, HTTPS, the, the secure version of the HTTP. Then we will add encryption between the Zabbix server and Zabbix proxy using a PS call. I mean, appreciate key, which is stands for PS call. Okay, guys. Let's start this section. The section one is uh, securing the Zabbix web interface with HTTPS. Uh, come here and on GitHub here on Zabbix and maintenance I think and HTTPS on web server uh, you can obtain a valid public and private key you can obtain a valid certificate using certbot with let's encrypt okay uh, it requires a domain but for testing purposes we use OpenSSL for obtaining our certificate Uh, a step to enable HTTPS we need to three to do three things get an SSL certificate update nginx or Apache web server to use the certificate and step three restart the web server come here and go with this guide copy this line and log into the server which is responsible for serving the web server of the Zabbix. I installed the Nginx for serving the static or dynamic files for the Zabbix server on the same server. Uh, change directory to etc Zabbix and with OpenSSL I will create a public key and private key you can see certificate and private key here and come here uh, change the nginx configuration file copy this and open the nginx configuration file and add a server directive here I will add a server directive here okay change this server name to the real IP address of the Zabbix server in, a, in the case of you have a valid domain, you have to set this your domain like zabbix.monitoring.net. Okay, guys. And when a, a client requests to this server on 18 port, 80 port, it redirects to the HTTPS of this host and the same request URI come back and copy this section this is must change to 443 and this is the same 
come here and paste this thing here delete these two line and add SSL here SSL and this is the location of the certificate it is Zabbix certificate.pem and SSL certificate.key this is the private key okay and you do not need nothing now test the configuration of the nginx you can see the you can see the uh, configuration file syntax is okay now we have to reload the nginx server come here and refresh this page look at here this is http and when i refresh this page you will get the warning because we use the self-signed certificate advance and accept the risk and continue look at here it is https it means everything between web server and the server is are encrypted all the data sent between these two points are encrypted this is the part one of this section for part two we want to enable the psk but why psk uh, 